What is up, guys? Some people were asking me to do this. I just got a snowmobile a couple months ago, and the snow's starting to come in. This is pro this is my first time going up with my dad, and I'm gonna let you know right now that the footage is fast forward. I'm not fucking flying 90 through these through this really um the fuck this really shallow snow. There's really what do you say when there's not that much snow? This really thin snow. Yeah, but so, you probably, we're kind of on this trail, so we don't really want to be uh, going off the trail quite yet, because we're heading up the mountain right now, you can't really tell, but we are going uphill, and uh, heading to the top of the mountain where the most of the snow is at, and snowmobiling is fucking awesome, that's why the title says Better Than Sex, and that's snowmobiling, and I don't tell Rachel I said that, because uh, she probably wouldn't be too pleased, but... Um, but yeah, this my dad. I have a newer snowmobile. It's a, a 2011, and it's a 800. My dad has one that he somebody just gave to him last winter, and it's a 500. So he couldn't really. I mean, he's up ahead of me, but uh, his doesn't really have as much juice to go places that mine can. But uh, yeah, so we're cruising up the hill. This is kind of an old past. Uh, like childhood favorite place for us to go when we went to my dad's house. He actually lives on this on this mountain, but a little further down the mountain, and uh, he lives in a cabin. And it's not like a not like a fucking homestead or whatever those things are called. He's not like a rancher. Uh, they have like a oven and refrigerator and all that good stuff and electricity. So it's not like a you know what the fuck is it the cat plays in the bathtub i don't know why it likes to play in the bathtub but it's in there but yeah so he lives up in the cabin so we he gets quite a bit of snow at his place but we used to call this place up top you'll see in the clearing um and how there's starting to get a little bit more snow in the trees and whatnot so we call this place up top it's our favorite place to go snowmobiling when we were younger or not snowmobiling but sledding when we were younger and like get pulled behind the truck on a sled or something like that and uh, it's awesome and the the freedom like i ha i had a dirt bike and the thing with the dirt bike is i was almost a little uh afraid to get kind of ballsy and and do some cool shit uh the cool thing about a snowmobile is is you can crash and and you fucking land on a on a pillow you're not going to hurt your snowmobile. You're not going to, uh, I mean, you can hurt yourself by whatever you're crashing into. But when you're in like a open area and you're kind of just messing around, like uh, some of the footage I have that's later on that I'll, I'll, I'll have a video of and kind of just cruising out and carving in the snow and you fall, you're perfectly fine. So um, that's why I feel like I, I, I really like snowmobiling and I got really into it because I can do things that, I couldn't do on a dirt bike like I wouldn't be able to fucking try and do a hill climb on a dirt bike that's out of my league because if I fall it's gonna hurt but on a snowmobile you fall and you land on pillows and you get right back on um, now it's not fun <laughs> like you see there's these trees out here and some some random bumps in the smooth snow uh, those are stumps and stumps are definitely something you want to we got to watch out for when I'm on a snowmobile i I hit one on my ski, and it jolts you, but you don't actually run into it unless you're like deep under the snow, and if you actually run into it with your front end, then that's going to be trouble. Most of the time, you just skip over them, but uh, when, like this place, we would have to worry about stumps, but not the place where we usually go. My buddy did hit a, like graze the top of a stump and fell off, and um, he was perfectly fine. His snowmobile was perfectly fine, but... But it, she feels so. For once, I don't know if this particular video gets to the good stuff where we're just hauling in the wide open. Like right here, I'm really not going that fast because I'm kind of nervous. This is when we just started, and I'm kind of nervous that a stump's gonna pop up and get me. But um, some of the other footage that I got, we're just hauling ass. There's an airstrip that's way up here, and it's just wide open, and uh, sitting there just carving and having fun and. Uh, my dad kind of, I think next time we go up, we'll we'll get a, uh, we'll get, like, bring up some cots and try and, like, sleep up here in the snow. That's, like, something my dad always likes 
sleeping and trying to stay the night at some weird places, or not weird, but places people wouldn't normally do since it's winter and super cold and shit. Man, the cat, I don't know what, the cat, I love our cat now, I used to not like him, but he's just fucking weird. He plays in the bathtub, uh, I think he eats his own poop, he's just a weird cat. So yeah, I'm gonna just let this play through and and let me know if you guys want some more, if not, or if this was boring. I, I, I'm gonna definitely start posting more on here, so it's been like fucking two weeks, because I, uh, I, I had some issues with my partnering network for my channels i had to switch over from machinima to full screen so that's why the videos have kind of been coming out slow because i haven't been partnered and um yeah so it's kind of a it was kind of a dirty issue and i had to not dirty but i had to do it while it was the holidays and um i have an issue with my channel where somebody from google has to come in and 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 override it but since everybody's gone for the holidays i haven't been able to report my sir haven't been able to get a hold of that guy or the guys from full screen so this channel's fixed my main channel isn't yet so um yeah that's why i've been kind of, and the holidays have been why i haven't posted just kind of taking a little vacation but i guess when i go up this is what i was doing snowmobiling so i guess i go up and just record it. So I guess I was working. This is this is me out there working right now. So um, yeah, fuck man, my it's tough. It's tough, man. It's tough. Uh, it's what's cool about 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 working and doing YouTube as a job is uh, when it comes down to taxes. I'm not I'm not writing really anything off this year, but when it comes down to paying your taxes. Um, if I like just taking this up here, bringing my video camera and recording this, and now I'm posting it and making money off of it, so that's my job. Um, I can write this whole trip off, all the expenses off, and taxes. I mean, I'll, I probably won't ever do it because it's a, it's a lot of nitpicky stuff. I could fucking, I could write off if I can go like to dinner and talk about my YouTube and write that dinner off, but. Um, I'm not going to try and cheat the system that much, but since we're buying a house, I don't want to, I want to show for as much income as possible, and hopefully within the next couple months, you guys will see a new, uh, I, I've kind of been, you guys have seen the the room behind me with all Rachel's crap in here, and it kind of looks shitty, but i kind of been just holding off on, on setting up a new game room, because we're in an apartment, I'm not going to set it up all sweet and stuff, because we're not going to be here that long, so, um, when it comes to our new house, I'm hopefully, hopefully going to have a ball and game room, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's that, guys. Sorry, two weeks. It's not going to be two weeks ever again. I promise you that. And I know you guys have probably been watching my other stuff or whatnot, so it's it's really probably not even felt like two weeks since I post on this channel. So I don't know why I said it. So um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys want some more snowmobiling or GoPro stuff. Peace.